But welcome to Red Mountain. This is my second round here, starting from number 10. Well, I've talked the talk, but now can I walk the walk? Can I actually apply my philosophy to this difficult like? golf course? Well, the 10th is a wide open fairway, so it's driver. Flag is on the front, and short of the green is just fine. That's why I'm taking the 8 and not the 7. I remember that this green is incredibly difficult. The short is just fine. And when you've got a decent caddy, the chip isn't an issue. Good morning. So this should be the Blue Canyon Lakes course, as it happens. It's Red Mountain, because I switched. And um, there was a bunch of four balls going off the first. So they said, you can go to the 10th. So this is the 10th at Red Mountain. Caddy's name is Indy today. And you can always, you can tell straight away, she knows how many beans make five. Well, in that case, a par four. Not a long hole, so I don't really need driver here. But it suits my shape. Because it suits my shape, Whoa. then I can hit my driver. That's okay. okay. Same, same last time. <laughs> well, I've not found the fairway. But the rough here isn't too bad. But that's a flyer. Go. So I'm the wrong side of the flag this time. Wow, that, that really flew. I know you're thinking, oh, there goes Simon, he's playing forward again, making it easier. Well, my opening drive landed, which was downhill, and landed on a downslope, got the grand total of three inches past its pitch mark. And you've got to remember that. You've got to remember there's no 30 yards, 40 yards of bounce and roll when you're going downhill, downwind or whatever. I've blown this one over the flag, so I am deeply in the shit here. Yeah, quite a big flyer. But this isn't a severe green, so it doesn't matter too much. Mountain green's a little bit scary. What do you think? Inside left. Okay. Well, even though I've been given my orders, I still like to go through my full routine and prepare myself for the actual putt. Inside left, almost straight. Thank you. Now this is a stupid play, and I'm aiming right, so I deserve all I get out of this hole. I should be aiming well left with the three wood, as I planned to do. And here we are again. Shame I didn't follow my own philosophy. Bunker again. Oh, shit. This ball's buried. Well, that's a nasty bogey. 
You can't see it from the tee box, but this fairway is wide enough for driver. So we hit driver. The flag is all the way on the right, over the water. I'm not keen on this. But that was a tug. I was trying to play for the fat of the green. And I'm a mile away. I'd never get that. <laughs> this is an hourglass green and the flag is right in the center of the hourglass. So this is yet another big mistake. I should have been taking oh, seven iron, putting it in the fat at the front and trusted my caddy to get me a par oh, with yeah. two putts. That's a big mistake. Challenging, shall we call these greens. So easy to embarrass yourself out here, guys. Believe me. I've done it many times. Although you can't see it from here, there's more room. So I'm going up from hitting the old lady boy to a five wood, because I know the space for it. And this is much easier than the seven iron I had the previous go. Yeah. Well guys, here's a tip for you, and you can see why I'm giving you this tip, and it's my own damn fault. I'm not blaming anybody but myself. But if you get out of bed at 6.30, so that Golf Asian can bring you to the golf course early enough to use the driving range, because you feel that you need to use the driving range, then use the driving range, even if it's 20 balls. Don't let the starter push you into starting 40 minutes early when you can have a warm-up. And I should know better, but hopefully that'll help you if you come out here. Sometimes playing safe actually means getting closer to the green to make the second shot easier. Doesn't mean you've got to lay all the way back and leave yourself a very long second shot. This hole, yeah. <laughs> Now last time I got myself an awkward yardage into the green so this time I'm going five wood to try and get an easier yardage. That's okay. But it is the wrong choice. I should have been laying back in the fat of the fairway and then I would have avoided this. I think maybe a five iron off that tee would be better. Okay. And this is the bizarre world of downhill and into the grain. Yeah, I'd like to play this hole again and see if I can actually figure out how to play it. In two times, uh, yeah. I haven't a clue. First uphill. Okay. Oh. 
this looks like a very difficult flag to me. I'm just going to try and fade the 9 iron to the back right flag. I think maybe that was the poor choice. Right, so that was a 9 iron, about 160 yards with a drop of, I don't know, 50, 55 yards. But for a bird, long one. Well, when I looked at this flag position, I couldn't actually pick a spot on the green. That would give you an easy putt. Upset perhaps from the front right. Which would have meant hitting a pitching wedge off the tee. And having a very long putt. But I might have got the putt. Another hole where I'm choosing to step up to the five wood because there's space for it. Okay, little but that isn't the best shot on the planet. Okay, good bounce. It leaves me awkward because I can't see the flag from where I'm stood. But I do know that I want to be right of it. That's an easy one. Oh, a bit right. And that's right of it. So you get yourself the easier putts, and the easier putts mean that you can stop the ball by the hole and get your par. A little bit more. So you've got to be looking at the shapes of greens. Nice wide fairway, so we're away with the driver. You've always got to be looking at the shapes of greens in Thailand, so you can pick the best spot to play to. 8 iron layup because the green is round the corner that's what makes it a par 5 if it was a straight hole it would be a par 4 and again I know going up long is dead so I just want to play short of it as it happened I tugged it but because I'm on the same level the putt is relatively easy the par is relatively easy so you've always got to watch where the flag is. This is a green light flag for me with a 9-iron. Oh, right. But not the greatest shot. Get on, get on, get on. What I find funny though, is the caddy's giving me a line when I'm stood in the face of the bunker trying to keep my balance. But it does help focus the mind. And even though I missed the green, I missed it on the correct side. Okay, good pass. Because that's pass. a relatively easy up and Thank down. You. Par five, very wide, bunkers not in play, so I can fade the driver. And that's a beauty. I can't see that far. Good shot though. Yeah, all the bunker. Yeah, that's easy. On a down slope like this, the ball should fade. And there's room out to the right for that fade. Okay. But when you catch it a little heavy, then it does go straight. Shank. 
Yeah, long grass. This is definitely the wrong side, because this is down the grain, and there's absolutely no stopping it. Fortunately, I've got a caddy. Well, how about that then? A shank and a par. But no matter what happens, you know, when you're a place like this, you've just got to look around. You look around at where you come from, up, up the hill there, and uh, the rock faces, because this, this golf course is built on an old tin mine, and somebody got exceptionally wealthy off this place. Certainly not the locals, they would have been paid minimum wage. But this, this is an outstanding golf course and you've got to play it the right way round. Make a score on the front and then play cautiously on the back and you'll have a good day. A pretty tight hole but there is room on the right to accommodate my fade. So I can go driver here quite comfortably. That's okay. And this time I can actually see the flag and I can aim correctly. And this is a fairly flat green. Oh, a bit big. So it's not too punishing if you do miss it on the wrong side. Um, thanks to Indy, we have another tap Maybe. in. Got more speed, no? Thank you. So I was a bit shy of this one, so I'm going three wood. It says 434 on the card, but I think this is a forward tee, because it certainly doesn't play 434. But again, it's getting it on the fairway. It's doing the right thing to find the fairway. Okay. That isn't the greatest six iron in the world either. And looking at the shape of the green, I'm looking to leave myself an uphiller for the par. So even though this is six feet, maybe, maybe seven, I'm not sure, it's in the right direction. Another par three, a very large green, get it on the green. Again. You know, a putt from down here is a lot easier than a putt five feet from the wrong side. So even though it was a poor tee shot, I've actually missed it in the right place. There you go. That's why we love our caddies in Thailand. That is pa. Yeah, pa. You happy with it? Hey. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. I'd never get that. This is a horrible hole. Indy wanted me to hit driver. I wasn't too sure about that. But it's a horrible hole because you can't leave yourself a decent yardage into the green. If you play safe, you've got this awkward thing. And if you play aggressive, then you've got the water and the sand to contend with. There's no real area that you can drop the ball in that's going to leave you a full shot. You're always going to have that partial shot. Pa pa yeah, partial. I almost said parcel. But yeah, it's very difficult unless you practice your half shots. And quite frankly, I'm a bit behind on that. Now the last hole is wider than it looks, That's better. but the plan is to tackle these golf courses, get it in the fairway, in the fairway you can play golf, get it on the correct portion of the green, or at least miss on the correct side of the green. Sure. Okay. And you've always got to be looking at the shapes of the green, and the slopes of the green to leave yourself an uphiller, because even an uphiller like this is easier than a short downhiller. 
It's all right. Thank you. Almost, buddy. Almost. You want a pet? Oh. Thank you, Andy. You're welcome. Thank you, too. Come, cat. Up to the car. Right. See you next time. Well, I just finished guys. I am absolutely knackered. It's so hot out there. We've gone round in under three hours. But I, th I think this, this is a golf course where you've got to play the front nine first, tuck a score away, and then go to the back nine, play the wide holes progressively, play the narrow holes safely. But, you, you know, without a caddy on these kind of greens, I don't stand a chance. I'd, I'd probably three-put everything and I'll have a couple of four-putts in as well. There's a cold shower waiting for me just round the corner. So I say cheerio. I'm at Laguna next. I'd like to see if I can do a smidgen better than last time. It would be nice, but uh, when it's wall-to-wall -wall blue sky like this, Desperate for a drink as well. When it is so hot like this, sometimes just getting around the golf course and enjoying the view is more important than the golf. Oh God, I wish you lot were here. You really don't know what you're missing out on. Start saving your money. Ta-ra.